Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the era of naval warfare where castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Well, okay, here she is. And she's looking pretty good. Now, the hull is actually pretty nice. That really enabled me to build her out the way she looked the main tower is incorrect but it's the only one of well there's two available they both look alike uh, this is the lesser of the two because it allowed me to get the secondary guns in place um, the, how is she armed well let's see she's got two times three 11 inch guns eight times one five inch guns those are supposed to be 5.9s but the uh but the game won't give me six inch guns <laughs> for secondaries uh she, I, she's got two dual four inch guns i think she had three but i don't know where to wedge a third i can't find a convenient place it's not going to be significant in the game so uh, it looks pretty good with two dual five uh four inch guns and she does have two times two quad torpedo launchers mounted on the deck which is actually kind of fascinating and i suspect that the the uh, uh the game ai will use although i've found no evidence that they were used in the battle um lots of things i did here she, she's design speed of 28 and a half knots i don't know if she could make it i know that what i read was that she had sailed something like 30,000 miles and was in need of an overhaul um, or an engine overhaul. Uh, she had diesel engines, which is fascinating, um, which does some interesting things in game. Um, everything else, she comes in pretty close to her design displacement, which was just a little over 14,900 tons uh nowhere near her full load displacement something over 16,000 tons but i don't know how to get there without throwing in all kinds of uh stuff that i just can't account for as it is she's still a very well protected and very dangerous uh design uh, from a game point of view uh she did have a radar and uh not terribly well armored five and a half inch belt two inch extended three inch deck i don't know about the i just left that as default five inch conning tower seven inch turret face three inch turret top and i down i i lowered the secondaries to the same as the turret top because what do i know i don't i don't know i'm just doing the best i can with some you know online resources straight at hand but other than the main tower she really does look a lot like uh uh, the Graf Bay. So what do you say we jump out there and give her a try? Let's see what the Brits have to offer today. Now in the battle, I think I may have said this already, in the battle the uh, 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 Langsdorf actually turned toward the uh, the British thinking that he was wow what have I run into? Um, that looks a whole lot like a battleship. Did I? Did I? Did I do this wrong? Well, let's rebuild the ship. Let's launch her again and let's look. No, it says heavy cruiser. I don't know. Anyway, as I was saying, man, that doesn't look like a heavy cruiser. <laughs> anyway, Linesdorf did turn toward them and engage, and so, you know, here we go. What do you say we get started? Uh, let's, let's make a turn to uh, unmask the uh, rear turret and let's get on with it find out just what 
the AI has brought for us. Well, we found out real fast. We took an 8-inch hit. I got a feeling that came from the light cruisers. Or what's supposed to pass for light cruisers here. And... God almighty, that looks like a battleship hull. And... I mean, look at, look at the... I think I'm amazed. Well, we'll see. I've played this a couple times. I don't remember seeing anything like that. They got first blood, which is not unusual for the AI to uh, draw, f get a first hit, and another eight inch hit. That hurt. She's got a lot more guns than we do, and she is laying the wood to us. How fast? She seems to be moving awfully fast, which may have to do, the relative motion may have to do with the fact that I'm moving on a opposite course. So let's see if we can maneuver one to get away from those guys. We are taking some big time hits. Whoever she is, she's got great fire control. And bring her back around. Hopefully settle on a course and get a little bit more stable. How far away is she? Fourteen and a half kilometers. Well, we need to see if we can open a range a bit. If she is eight inch gun armed, then perhaps we can operate outside of her range a bit. Now one thing, she is hitting us with an evil consistency. And let's pause for a second and let me see if I can see these range rings. four inch range okay how far away do we have to go to get okay we need to head outside of that eight inch range yes we do we need to run away a bit and let's pick up the pace we don't want to hang here as long as she's willing she's hitting us too hard for me to be comfortable If we can get ourselves in a situation where we are outside of her, oh my goodness, she is pounding us, and we're at 1.7 percent chance to hit. We haven't identified her yet, but she's got something going for her in terms of accuracy that we sure do not have. All right, we are cruising right along at our. Best speed. The AI has yet seen fit to try to close that range. And we're going to take advantage of that. I wouldn't be surprised if those light cruisers aren't pursuing us. We don't have much. I tell you, our chance to hit is just awful. All right, let's. Uh, now we're supposed to be outside of that range, boy. And select her. Select her. One and a half percent chance to hit. All right, we'll have to keep an eye on that range. And see if we can stand off and take advantage of these 11 inch guns. Meanwhile, we got to watch what these guys are doing. They seem to be pursuing. She does not. 
and that is not a smart AI. Of course, we don't have much of a chance to hit, but we're not going to get hit staying out here. We're going to slow down just a bit, and then we're going to watch that range ring and see if that slowdown doesn't improve our chance to hit. As we come back down into our cruise speed, it ought to. There we go. We're seeing the bonus benefit of uh, our cruise speed. And now i got to wait for the cat to lay down so I can see what's going on. <sighs> I need to close the door to my room. <laughs> he's my buddy. Yeah, he's my buddy. i got to watch out for him. All right, we're all the way up to a 1.7% chance to hit, which is not awesome. But it beats it beats getting pounded to pieces by that rain of 8-inch fire. Um, ah, we've identified those guys. Have we identified her? Yes, we have. Let's take a look. The Crescent. 8-inch, 4-inch, lots of 2-inch guns, 8.7 inches of armor. Oh, which reminds me, what's her best speed? 30 knots. She can catch us anytime she wants to. And the light cruiser's not so much. 24.8. And they're very lightly, very lightly protected. All right, well off we go to see if the AI has yet to figure out that I can shoot at him and he can't shoot at me. Let's get down here and get a look at her. I don't see evidence of the damage. Look at the guns are individually moving from loading position to firing position. Sweet. That is just very nice. Now we've taken we've we've belted her. We've hit her. And is there any evidence of the damage on her? Yeah, right here. Right there. See a little damage decal. Slow things down a bit so it's not quite so frantic. And admire how pretty the game is. Yeah, she has yet to figure out that she needs to close me to uh, get a piece of me. We still have a really terrible chance to hit. Let's step down a couple of knots and see if that doesn't... What is affecting it? Yeah, well, the cloudy weather, moderate breeze, slight waves. We don't really have anything very positive going. So slowing her down may or may not change anything. Well, oh, yes, it does. Look at that. It's, it's going up. It's gone from 14-something to 16-something. But it's still showing a 1.7% chance to hit. And it looks like we're outrunning the light cruisers. Now, the Brits actually split their forces, and which effectively has happened here, to split the fire from the uh, Graf Spey. And right now, you can't, you can't split the fire of the main battery. That, that just doesn't work. Um, but... We just have to live with the limitations of the current game. And we're kind of going slow here while I try to figure out why interesting things are happening at the house. And off goes four rounds. Huh. Yep, I have I apologize. I have gotten very distracted here. There's some kind of activity. Some kind of activity at the door. Ah, we're okay. I got it spotted. I know what it is. 
Nothing like the silly ring doorbell. Let's speed up things so we don't have... Uh... Oh, we're up to a 2.4% chance to hit. We are, I believe, handily outrunning. Doesn't look like she's decided to close the range yet. Actually, she is slightly. But we're still just outside of her range, so we're going to sit here and hope that we get lucky and get a couple of good licks in on her, even though our chance to hit are pretty low. Now, the Exeter was the uh, heavy cruiser, the British heavy cruiser, and she took some pretty grim hits. Uh, I believe her four turrets were disabled. The bridge may have gotten wrecked, if I remember correctly. Uh, and the light cruisers made an effort to close the uh, Graf Spey to distract her to give the Exeter some cover. That's not going to happen here since we are, even at 22 knots, we're maintaining. Well, actually, they are going to be catching us a little bit because I've slowed down so much. Um, we still are outside of their 6-inch gun range. We may have to speed up a bit. You know, we're going to need to turn just a bit to stay outside of that 8-inch gun range. Because I'm just being like that. Trying to play smart for the first time. Trying to play it all with 20 pounds of Tomcat trying to get between me and the monitor. <laughs> oh, this is just not... We are just not getting a piece of her. I mean, we're talking about one hit every 40-something rounds. So, 10 or 12, 13 broadsides. Booms. Okay, there was a hit. Bow deck extended penetration, and she is burning. Hey, what do you think of that? I think we can... Uh, that's closing up. Not worried about that six inch gun range just yet. Uh, we'll just continue edging away slightly. Got another hit. Mid belt partial penetration. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're ringing her chime. She needs to turn and charge me. She can maintain, she's got, got a speed advantage of at least a knot, knot and a half. And right now she's just cruising along, taking a chance that any given hit might put her down. Meanwhile, those guys are doing their best to get in the fight. And I'm doing my best to avoid them. Yeah, we're still looking good from the point of view of range. And that's not going to work. Get down here and enjoy some of the... Some of the very pretty graphics. Watch that shells. The shells falling. 2.6% chance. Oh, really wild misses there. The latest version has the just sweet damage decals. I don't know if you recall in the earlier versions, this kind of hit would cause this whole area to look wrinkled. And it was just pretty sad, honestly. It just wasn't very nice at all. But now, now seeing some much more attractive graphics. Well, 
you you know, it's it's this is going to be a long, slow process. And to expedite it. Oh, we got another hit. 11 inch hit. Stern belt extended penetration 67%. Really, there's no winning this from the AI's point of view if they don't close up. I'm going to get a lucky hit. If not for the fact that she's so well armored. I mean, we are penetrating her. We've got three good penetrations out of five hits. These guns are good for... Well, I can't get a range on her. There we go. 17 and a half kilometers. They're good for 13 inches of penetration, so we ought to be ringing her chimes. We ought to be we ought to be giving her a good lick when we hit. Those guys are closing up. We're going to be under a range of six inch guns soon. I'm going to be obliged to speed up, which is going to make it a lot harder for us to play this uh, rope-a-dope. Staying just outside of the effective range of that heavy cruiser. Really, she needs to charge us. She really just, just needs to charge. That would be the wise play that it put me between the two of them. I'd have to turn to port big time to try and speed up to, well at least speed up to try to outrun these guys. As it is the AI is just not playing very smart. But we're using up our ammunition so eh. Well, it's another thing I didn't do, was give her a lot of extra ammunition, which I suppose I could have done. She is just... Slow her down a bit more and see if we can you know, reach for a fractional improvement. Yep, boom, 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 boom. Well, this is the way to play it. Play it smart, but it, it, it doesn't give us a lot of burning ships and uh, exploding things. We are really engaging way, way, way out. There's a hit. Truly, though, this is this is this is the way it ought to be played. She really needs to uh, to watch herself charging in. It's just got to get her under a rain of uh, just a complete rain of eight and six inch guns. And given her situation, thousands of miles away from home, having to run the entire Atlantic through a huge hunt for her, any damage, even damage she's taken here, which is really pretty trivial, was more than she could use. We got another hit. Pretty good one. But still... We've hardly put her down, and we're going to run out of ammunition before we do, unless we get lucky. Well, we're going to let it run a little bit longer, and maybe do something crazy like rebuild the ship, regenerate an opponent, and see what comes up. If this girl wasn't as well armored, I think she'd have been hurt a lot more. Or if we'd started off in different positions. There's a big hit. And 
yeah, closing in. She's not trying to, really. She's edging toward us. And leaving the Graf Spee with running out of ammo and really that'd be a that'd be a win. That's a systems kill. The uh, even if you don't sink her, she's no longer an effective uh, no longer an effective unit. Up to 2.9 percent chance to hit, and we're we 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 dinged her big time. Another really good hit. Alright, well it's clear how this is going to end. The Graf Spee is out of ammo. Uh, she's got to turn away and flee, which will be the equivalent of running into harbor at Montevideo. Ooh. I've managed to let her get inside an 8-inch gun range. And almost in range of the 6-inch guns. They're making 20. They're going to have to pick up the speed. Yep, that, that, was a, that was a gimme. Oh yeah, that was a gimme. I let her wander inside of the danger zone but there ain't nothing left for her to do but pick up the speed and depart now whether the AI will pursue is a question for the ages because we're not going to stick around we're going to go ahead and call it so let's do this let's jump back in to rebuild ship mostly because I think it'll give them a chance to uh, regenerate um, the designs Let's go ahead and pump up increased shells. I don't know whether the Germans would have used heavier or lighter shells. Um, well, we could play with it. Give them increased and heavies. And jump back in and see what comes up. All right, well... Once again, we're in range, and once again, we're going to play it like Lansdorf did. We're going to say, look, uh-oh, we're shooting at each other. Did we generate a different ship? No, it looks the same. Well, that can't be good. Yeah, we're moving into 7-inch gun range. Maybe we won't charge her. We're going to assume that charge has already happened. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to assume that that charge into uh, into the enemy's already happened. We're not going to make it easy for them to... Goodness, torpedo range. Seven-inch guns? Really? So it did regenerate, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see whether we got really got different ships. And you know, she's turning. These guys are bringing it on. So I think the AI's made the right choice to engage the uh, the lighter units that are charging into us. We need to turn away just slightly. And keep our speed up. Don't have much of a chance to hit. These old girls are charging us. In fact, we ought to go to save, which may or may not allow her to continue firing. I don't think so. she's even on save. She's decided to open up. What are these guys doing? Yeah, they're still closing. Alright, this could be interesting. We're at torpedo range. Woohoo! We're staying outside of... We're staying outside of... Gun range, but we're in torpedo range. Alright, we're gonna... 
we're gonna do this. We're gonna generate some problems here for uh, those guys. If they're going to insist on closing up the torpedo range. It appears that they're going to do. Um, let me switch to HE against these little guys. So it's, we think it's a heavy cruiser, but we know better. It's a goofy looking little light cruiser. Yeah, we're still in torpedo range because we can't outrun her, them. All right, we'll come back around. As long as we're staying out of that guy's range, and again, the AI does not seem to be willing to close us, then we're going to see if we can light up these light cruisers. But to do that, we're probably going to have to step back a little bit and let them close us, which means 5-inch guns are going to be raining down on us. I'm playing a little differently today, huh? Normally, I like to just get in there and let's have it out, but uh, that makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. If we can tag one of those guys, we'll ruin their day. Boom! Yeah. That lit her up. Hit. That appears to be a hit. No, that's not. I don't see. I don't see a damage decal. These are casemates. But the Arethusa did not enjoy that hit. Bow belt extended partial penetration. No, there it is. There's a damage decal right there. Very cool. And they should have more rounds incoming right now. Here they are. Here they come. Oh, one of them was very close. But All right, we're in 5-inch gun range now. We're going to live with that for a little while. We're well outside of the 7-inch gun range. And we're getting pretty good hit percentages. We're going to go ahead and cut that back, the speed back a little bit. Have we identified these? Yeah, we have. 1.9 to 5 inch. Heck, she's just as well armored as we are. Um, but she doesn't have 11 inch guns. Oh, they're raining those 5 inch guns on us. Scary. 4.2% chance to hit, though. A lucky hit or two could ruin a light cruiser stay. And yet nothing. Meanwhile, she's just reluctant to come play. <sighs> 31 and a half. Donegal. 7 inch. Yep, it did regenerate. She's not terribly well armored. You see there, 5.6 inch. Thank God, she, they just don't seem to have much of a chance. 2.9%. Of course, there's a lot more of them shooting, so I expect we'll take... There was a hit. Bounce, but there was a hit. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Oh, they hit us to set us on fire. Gotta get the crew up there. Gotta put that out. There it goes. And a dink. So pretty. And 
Yeah, she's cl oh 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 oh. Eleven inch hit mid deck over penetration six hundred sixteen damage on fire and funnel destroyed. That'll ruin your day. That may change the way she behaves. Yeah, here we go. Oh, another monstrous hit. 11 inch hit, bow belt extended penetration, 1004 damage, rudder damage, engine damage, engine damage, engine damaged. She's sad. Yeah, that 11 inch HE has ruined her day. I'm loving it. Do it again. Oh, she's done. She's done. She flooded out. Yeah. Yep, that blew the bottom out of her. Meanwhile, those 7 inch guns are getting closer all the time. Is she still forcing her way right past the wreckage? Pretty cool. Let's see if we can see. Went down right here. For a moment I could see, but the model's gone now. But the Latota is still pressing forward to her fate. <laughs> ah, I love this game. All right, well, we're two and a half percent chance to hit. We're getting this rain of five inch fire. Speed things up. Watch that. Because right now we're taking advantage of the AI's lack of aggressiveness with their heavy cruiser. Let's see if we can. Oh, we got a fire. See if we can take advantage of that and before we run out of ammo, knock us off a couple of light cruisers. Oh! Oh! Devastating. HE is just grim. 11 inch hit CL bow extended penetration 969 damage, two engines damaged and on fire. And she's taking serious flotation hits. Will she get them under control? Right now she's flooding. She is flooding. Will she control it? Will she control it? It's holding 12, 13, 15, 13, 16, 14, 16, 14. 13. This is a beautiful thing. I think she may have it under control, although she's pretty much done. Another hit or two. And we call her toast. Let's go back to the Graf Spey. She's still got it. Since I gave her a lot of ammo, she's still got a lot to play with. 7 inch range, not there. Oh! That 5 inch hit dinged us. And we're up to a 10% chance to hit that old girl. Boom! Uh, what happened there? Engine 1 damage. 265 mid belt partial penetration rudder damage basically we've blown her apart will she continue is she flooding doesn't appear to whoo boy that salvo landed just short just shy she's still fighting in the best tradition of the Royal Navy
watch it from this end. She's still getting hit. So. It sounded like she was getting hit. Yeah, there was a good hit. There was a partial penetration. 316 damage. But it's not causing any flotation damage, so... Down to two and a half knots. Alright, let's... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back over here. We're almost in seven inch gun range. She's effectively out of the fight. There just ain't nothing left for her. Another hit or two, and she's toast. The important thing being, she can't play anymore. Auto, engage there. That old gal's a wreck. All right, now we engage the big boy. Watch for that seven inch gun range. He's almost there. Is he turned on me? No, but he's managed to close the range. I think I helped him. Pick up the speed a little bit. think that took him out and we're back in the fight the crash bay is going to need all the ammunition she can get to have a chance of hurting the Donegal and still being undamaged which she's effectively undamaged right now for all practical purposes because I'm playing so cautiously Slow down, try to improve her chance to hit. Uh, gotta watch that 7 inch band. He, she's got a lot of 7 inch ammunition. Not a great chance to hit. Just not a great chance to hit. Not that that's... I think that's unrealistic. I really don't have a way of judging it, but it feels right. Well, we're pounding away just as briskly as we can. And short of suiciding, that wouldn't be suicide. I feeling I might actually put her down but boy we would take a lot of damage and today I've decided to play like a guy who actually lives on board the uh, the ship that I am driving here yeah she's closing up Stay just outside of that 7 inch gun range. Pretty amazing, huh? Would have been a lot better if they had been able to see these rings on the ocean. They could have judged things very accurately. Uh, 414. We're not going to hurt. We'll hurt her, maybe. We're not going to put her down at this pace. Alright, the Graf Bay. We should have her range yeah we can see four inch five inch oh she's just outside of torpedo range just outside well if we are willing to take a chance
and we can sit here at just outside of her or we can we can close up I guess what I'm trying to say we'll close up on her like see she's wandering into torpedo range so we set those to aggressive she launched them she put them in the water there they go Oh, that's sweet. I don't know whether that'll work or not. I don't know if we got even a chance in hell. Look at the... It's a beautiful spread at long range. Chances are pretty good that nothing will come of that, but that's cool. They're hard to track. There they are. Of course, they're, the spread's just going to get wider and wider as, oh, we are well inside of her. Help make, set them aggressive again. We're getting hit. And she's got a much better chance to hit than we do. we got to get out of here. I don't know what's up with that, but she has got... 9% chance to hit. Again, I'm not sure I really understand what that means. I don't know if that's a chance per salvo. I would think it would be a chance per gun. But I could be very, very wrong about that. Yeah, she decided to close us. No, she's just kept her... She's just kept her course. So we maneuver outside of that. Come around. Come up, come to the come to starboard. Yeah, I see she's got a really we've got a really lousy chance to hit right now. We'll know when she spots those torpedoes, if she spots them. She ought to behave differently. And, yeah, we're just outside of range again. Reloading torpedoes. Go look. And she's just outside of torpedo range. Oh, yes, she saw them. Look at that. Look, look. I don't know where they are. There they are. One, two, three, four. Not too hard to comb that wake. Not too hard to comb that wake. And then we do something that makes good sense for the Graf Spey, which is... We got her turned away. It's time to open the range. Call it a day. And that's an entirely different way of managing the battle compared to what I mean. Playing as pre-dreads, you're right on top of each other. Here, I just wanted to see I just wanted to see how it would play out. All right, she's turned back. But she's not inclined to chase. Which I find fascinating. Yep, we're not shooting. They're not shooting. I could go aggressive and she'd shoot. I bet you. Who is she shooting at with five inch guns? Really? Is she in 5 inch gun range? No. Okay, there's a... A serious uh-oh. Something's not right. You can see the hits we've taken. 
the decks. I can't wait. I hope. Oh yeah, you can see the damage she's taken. Hit, 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 hit. That looks like a hit right there. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Well, all right, there you go. Uh, that's a different thing. That's an entirely different thing for the way I normally play. Tried to play her real smart, which, if you ask me, is how you're going to want to play in a campaign game since you are paying for these things rather than sandboxing them. Well, there you go. I'm having a great time. Uh, hey, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.